Hey guys, Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And uh, man, Facebook Live and video is so on my mind, as you've probably noticed here over the last several uh, episodes, weeks, however you consume this. Um, but the big thing on my mind lately is uh, I discovered, of course, uh, the former Callie Lewis. I can't remember her real name that she's using with Geek Life uh, or in Geek University, um, was on Twit this week and uh, discussing how they were doing a live show. I think it's three days a week that they're doing this. Um, and And I had been waiting for that breakthrough and trying to figure out how do I take, what do I do here? The video, maybe as you're watching it now, what we do on Tuesday nights with the Wrestling Mayhem Show Awesome Cast, taking that and putting that into Facebook. How do I ingest that into a f- Facebook Live video? You know, I'm already doing it. Some of you are maybe watching the raw version of this as it is. That's just with my phone, and it's more of a periscopey, hold it up, it was selfie it kind of thing. That's great for certain situations, but I actually want to produce something uh, of a little more visual substance and quality, right? Uh, quality. And, of course, Wirecast, I have the version 5, version 6. You can upgrade, and um, they, they'll they give you integrated support. But I'm like, there's there's got to be something to this. Um, we're doing a lot of stuff with streaming with our good friends at Work Hard Pittsburgh uh, with their streaming setup, and, and, and again, a great... Great recordings uh, we've been doing recently, including the Framework Music and Arts Festival, uh, a lot of conferences, startup weekends, things like that. And I was like, we, you know, and the knowledge I have from that of how we're, you know, you know, different than the integrated setup that we have with Wirecast, because I get to bring up the thing and we, we, it syncs with my YouTube account and we're good to go. And there's stream keys and there's other technical ways to do it. I'm like, where is that in Facebook? Uh, as I'm poking around with that, and I'm poking around, okay, how do we use Facebook maybe with uh, this this OBS, which I think is like Open Broadcaster Service or System or something, uh, the software that we use with the Black Magic setups, um, and I start digging, and I start digging, and I discover where the, where the tools are, where where is the gobbly gook codes that make this thing work. So now, um, and I'm going to speak in a little bit of technical terms, but basically, if you have a page. You go to publishing tools, you look for a live video, and you go to create a, a, an event, a video, I guess you can call it, and there are stream keys. There's a, there's, a, there's a server address, and there's stream keys, and this is the thing, this is the magic sauce that you need. So if you are using something like that, maybe you want to stream your video game playing. Maybe you want to stream something. Maybe you just go look for this OBS software, uh, uh, this, this open broadcasting software. Actually, that's probably what the S stands for. Ugh, it's late. Uh, and you want to stream whatever it is you're doing that's a little higher quality, maybe a better camera even at the very least, not just a webcam. It says this is not for webcam broadcasting. You can go in there, use those, and you can stream our Wirecast setup that is already streaming the YouTube live. That's the that's the video that you see if you go to live.sorgatronmedia.com. We can add another source to that, and we can call it Facebook. We can put our codes in there. We can hit go live on the Facebook page, and we are live. We did it. Everything that we're producing here, as we do every week, now can be pushed to Facebook. Now, there's some caveats with this. Now, whereas YouTube, we can go pretty much as long as we want to. Uh, with Facebook, there's limitations, as we discovered tonight. Um, one, I can't just sit there and do three, four podcasts like we usually do on Tuesday night. It just, there's some problems. Uh, one, do I really want to broadcast out and get notifications to all of them when we're doing a wrestling and a tech show? You know, I want to kind of more be direct to my audience. So I'm actually having to stop the stream, go over to the other Facebook page, start a new one, set it up, go copy and paste everything. So there's a lot more back end that you're going to need to do, at least for the version of what we do. If you have like one show you're doing at eight o'clock on a Tuesday night, it, it's going to be a lot easier than pretty much how hard I kind of make things on myself. Also, there's a, there's a limitation on uh, the length. We discovered this when we were using Facebook Live recording a session for PodCamp Pittsburgh a few weeks ago, uh, one of our boot camp sessions for intro to podcasting. Uh, that actually, you can find that over in the PodCamp Pittsburgh Facebook page under the videos. Um, it cuts off at 90 minutes. We knew that was the case for live streaming from our phone. 
Okay. But apparently it is also the case when you're live streaming using a server, wirecast, open broadcaster, open broadcaster software, whatever the case may be. That is a general you can upload a longer video, I believe. I think so. I, I don't think that's changed because I believe we put wrestling mayhem shows up there that are definitely over 90 minutes. We just had to get them re-rendered so they were a smaller file size. Um, so again, we're not going to take this with some of our events that we do, like an all-night music concert that was three hours of, of final content. Um, we're not using Facebook Live for that. Not in the same fashion. We well, could tweak it a little bit, but you're not sitting there and having a stream all night. That's the entire day of Pot Camp Pittsburgh, for instance. Uh, the entire uh, 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 day of sessions for, for some conference, right? Um, or a giant concert that's that's more than 90 minutes, right? You still have to make sure it's that con that that segmented content. Hey, we're going to be doing a show for the next hour. Facebook Live, check us out. Hey, we're going to be the new this thing for 20 minutes. Q and A session right now. Facebook Live, join us. The options are there. The options are great. The options are you don't even have to do all this stuff. You can just sit in front of your cell phone. And you got a damn good camera there on your iPhone 6s, say, or your really kick-ass uh, uh, Samsung S7, right? And uh, and you're good to go. So. There's some new options. There's some new for you to, to to up that quality, perhaps if you're really getting really getting serious about video. Uh, 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 let me know what you think. Let me know what things you're seeing people other people stream. You're starting to see it a little bit more. Some better produced stuff streaming out there, not just our cell phones. And I'm curious to see what's getting your attention. Are you experimenting with experimenting with anything um, that is you know. That is getting a reaction. Uh, what are you finding out? Let us know at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, please go to Sorgatron.com. Sign up for our newsletter. We got a, a, a lot of great uh, discussions going on there about, again, things we're kind of tinkering with in the social media video space and everything like that. Oh, uh, look at the cute little summaries that you get after your videos on Facebook Live. For instance. Look at that little avatar there that you can't see on the video. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. Let me know what you think. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.